the data. So then I got to decide how do I want to sort these. So if you actually go right up into the very, very top where it says A, B, C, D, you'll notice these arrows show up that only show up when you hover on them. So how do we want to sort these? Probably by last name, right? So I'm going to hover over. I'm going to find that little arrow by last name on column D. And when I find that arrow, then the option is to sort the sheet from A to Z. So when I do that, it's going to sort it by their last name. Now you're thinking to yourself, why is Von Fakerton up at the top? That's not alphabetical. Now if you will double click on that cell, what you'll notice, there's actually a space bar in front of his name. Right? So I actually need to delete that space bar from in front of the V, enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the little arrow again so that I can click on the little arrow. Come here, baby. Click on the little arrow. I'm going to sort it from A to Z. And now Von Fakerton's at the bottom. Try it again. You were like clicked on it. So you want to up at the very top and in the column D. There you go. Okay. Now what if I wanted to sort by first name? Then I want to hover over column C up to the very top. And I'm going to get that little drop down arrow. And then from the drop down arrow, I'm going to choose to sort the sheet from A to Z. And so there I'm able to go through and I can sort all these. Now if you want, you can also choose to filter. And so filter is this icon right here where it looks like a triangle with a little stick on it. It's all the way kind of at the end almost. All the way to the end. Okay. So if you turn on filtering, this gets a little bit trickier because you'll notice what it has is now it puts an arrow in the column header as opposed to the arrow, the drop down arrow in the top where the letters are, right? right. And so then when I go to filtering, I'm going to clear these and I'd say only show me Alice and Amber. So I can check box which ones it'll show me. It'll filter them out and it'll hide the rest of them. So I'm only going to find Alice and Amber maybe. And so that just gives me so you now notice it goes one, two, three, four, six. It's only showing me the rows that have that filtered data. Now I'm going to turn off. I'm going to toggle off the filtering. I'm going to turn filtering back on. So I can now filter. And I let me clear these. I only want to see the kids who are expelled. So I'm going to click on. So now it's only showing me expulsion as the type of offense. And I am able to filter more than one, so I can say what type of offense, and I can filter by their name. So I only want Alice's who have been expelled. So in this case, I have two of them. And then just go back to the toolbar, this little triangle with a, on a stick, and I turn off the filters. So I'm able to sort all the data, but all the data is there by finding the little triangle at the very, very top where the letters are. And then I'm able to turn on filtering, I'm able to turn on filtering, which gives me an arrow in the column header, which is below the letter, to actually get rid of some of the data. It doesn't really get rid of it, it just hides it. I'm going to toggle that off. All right, so just another little trick if you don't know this. If you if between any two of the columns, sure, I can drag them and make them fatter, but if you double click, if you double click, it automatically resizes the column. To adjust it to the width of the widest amount of text, eh, more or less. And the other trick you can do is you can actually click on the corner and select all of the data. And then when you double click, it actually resizes. Let me double click. In be, I'm double clicked in between. It resized each column appropriately. It didn't size them all the same, it sized them. You notice some of them are skinnier and some of them are fatter based on the width. So you notice the student ID column, it's the width that it is so it can accommodate that really long student ID that I have down there apparently. Okay, so that is the sorting tab.